Alrighty, so here is part two of Wordify. I've had some time to spend with it. Um, I reached out to the owners, the guy who made it, uh, the people who made it, and um, you know, they kind of you know liked the tutorial, and they kind of mentioned there was some components that I was missing. Let me go ahead and start my timer. I like to keep them under five minutes, and um, now that I've had a little bit of time to ex um, experiment with it. Um, I have my subject here I already got him cut out and uh, I kind of like to cut my subjects out and when I come over here and hit my little gearbox you can add in your own text so what I went on ahead and did is I just went ahead and just copied a whole bunch of different tags uh, let me go ahead and delete all that right there and if I paste it you can just paste whatever you want um, right over here you can come over here and you can um, change up your different type of font that you want to use so you can select any type of font you want I kinda like the surprise me aspect of it all um, then over here you can change the colors you can kinda make it you know more green or red and you can mix these colors to kinda have a combination of a color that you want to create but you know red blue and green is pretty much you can do anything you want then over here is more smaller less bigger if you do your little slide deal right here I kinda got it set where I like it and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and hit the little play button and I'm gonna spin him through it and see what we get now um, with my friend Derek here he does have some light spots within him so it's missing a whole lot right there where it's not picking that up and that's cool and all that's wonderful but what I would like to do is um, I'm gonna take this over to another screen get this out the way um, for now I might want to keep that but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take Derek's image right here and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to open it with Photoshop so now that I have the image open with Photoshop what you can do is you can just come over here make sure that your layers unlocked if you don't know much about Photoshop I'm creating a course right now um, in the process I'm gonna upload it to you to me and you can go over there and check it out I'll let you guys know just leave a comment below um, if you're interested or send me an email my email will be below as well and I will send it to you because the whole uh, course is all about how to you know use Photoshop you can follow my tutorials but every tutorial is less than five minutes and these are things that you would use on the web on a day-to-day -day basis so we'll talk more about that later but right here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit command U to bring up my U saturation dialog box and I'm going to take the lightness and just push it all the way down and hit OK now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna just save this image right here and I'm gonna just save it to my desktop and uh, TLP we're just gonna name it whatever and just go ahead and save it to the desktop now when I come back over here to Wordify okay um, when I come back over here to Wordify and I take this top image and I drop it inside here and I made him into like a silhouette by just using that U saturation if I just hit my play button now watch the difference here so you see how it's definitely seeing that black to fill in those words and everything uh, you know did a really good job as far as filling everything in so let me go ahead and take this and compare it to um, the other one that I created and see what we got going over here uh, let's see thumbnails let's see if it added itself okay I don't see it where are you at uh, I don't know where it went to <laughs> let's go ahead and uh, well this is the new one right here versus the old one um, the old one I guess it overrode it um, to where you know it got rid of it so um, that's what it is right there so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just go ahead and export this right here since we have a little bit of time and we can say wordify one um, save it to the desktop um, it's, uh, export it as a an image there to use later. I'm going to export it as a PNG one. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and throw this one away. And we got 50 seconds left. So let's go ahead and go back to the original Derek. No, that's the one I've been working on for my Photoshop course. I'm going to go ahead and run this one right here and show you the difference of before and after in reference to just doing that U saturation to get your subject filled in a lot better and a lot easier kind of got a little bit of render time here come on come on see if we can beat the clock here I'm trying to get this done under five minutes um, 
All right, looks like we have some type of uh, freezing uh, fail. Quit anyway. Let me go ahead and open it back up. Uh, we're going to miss our timer. However, it's okay. Um, some videos will be longer than five minutes, and you know, you guys can deal with that, I guess. So let's go ahead and just run it and see what we come up with in reference to what it did before um, as far as kind of where it missed a lot of the different images so I can just show you the before and after um, so here's the before here's what we had before and let me go open up the after uh, image I named it Wordify 1 okay so here they are side by side in comparison in reference to really getting more words inside there versus the um, you know uh, just kinda letting it do its thing by default really great application though I really you know love what it does I think it's a great little tool um, you know it's fun I really enjoy it so uh, uh, content only so to show the before and after comparison here and uh, it's pretty cool you know so go ahead and give it a try and let me know how it works out in the comments below alrighty bye bye